Today is Minnesota's fishing opener, and expert Joel Nelson has been WCCO Saturday morning's guide for years, years now. Yeah, he and I talked earlier this week to find out what's new in the gear department and what he's excited about for the season. But first, I started by asking if he thinks social distancing guidelines will have an impact on the opener. You know, I think they may to some extent definitely, you know, opener is a tradition for so many people. They head up north to the cabin or some of them make longer drives. I think there'll be people fishing, though, closer to home. And it's interesting, the license sales, I, I have a friend it's a DNR fisheries supervisor, and he was saying license sales are up 48%. So there already have been a lot of people pan fishing, and there will be a lot of people walleye fishing. So I think this will be as successful of an opener from a, particip a participation standpoint as any. Well, let's get into the new gear this year. What are you excited about? Rain gear is something nobody thinks about until it's raining, right? So, but I've got a different approach. I, a company called Striker makes these adrenaline bibs. And they're kind of like my work clothes. And I can get them muddy, bloody, gutty, uh, fish, grime, and slime. Can get all over them, no big deal, right? I stay clean underneath. And then if it rains, I'm covered and I'm good to go. So those, those are a great option. People should have rain gear for the opener and even into the summer. It's a good idea. Uh, the second thing I want to talk a little bit about is Rapla has a new bait coming out. It's the Rap V. And it's interesting. It's like a blade bait. It's like their popular series, the Rip and Wrap. It's a lot of baits hybridized into one, but it's super versatile, and that's really going to be key for early season fishing because fish could be shallow, fish could be deeper. Um, we've got the opportunity to fish with it a lot of different ways, and that's going to make all the difference, I think. But probably the bait or the bait series that I'm most excited about is the Northland Fireball Series jigs. These things have been around forever, but they, they've made a new one. It's, it's called the Long Shank Fireball Jig. So it's a little bit longer. It can hold a bigger minnow, which so many people are pitching this time of year, uh, you know, pitching shiners into the shallows. And, and even if you don't like that longer jig platform, there's also the, the standard fireball jig that has a stinger hook option we can attach to, to bury a smaller hook further back because walleyes, if it's cooler, if it's earlier, can be finicky. So I've already got some rods right behind me tied up. I'm getting rigged up as I'm ready to go. That's what I've got on. That's what I'll be pitching for opener. Let's talk, as always, about the weather a little bit. How are late temperatures doing? What do you suspect uh, the role that weather will play is in this weekend's opener? I think it's going to play a, a, pretty, uh, a pretty big role. We've got some warmer lake temperatures, especially in the southern part of the state where I've been fishing already for panfish. I've seen water temps upwards of 65 degrees, which is fairly warm for this time of year. Uh, but you can contrast that with some of the northern waters and it's a little bit cooler. Uh, yet at the same time, I just think it's a fairly average, for lack of a better word, opener. And that's gonna put fish right where we expect them to be. I think even if it's cooler, the fish are gonna be relatively shallow. You're gonna be looking for clumps of new emerging weed growth. We get a little bit of sunshine. Uh, it, it might be a really neat, uh, might be a really neat opener for folks to go up and pitch those jigs shallow and catch all the walleyes they want. Joel also told me that many live bait shops are open just like any other year. Some are even doing curbside pickup, Jen. Yeah, we've heard about the social distancing inside any places that you go inside too. Some good tips from Joel and good to see him. Thank you, Mike.